I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apokin. I was discussing with my friend, my, my, my lawyer this morning, um, some things that happen when a man does not have money. When a man does not have money, he behaves in such a way that you think he is senseless. My mother used to say that a poor man knows the dress that is befitting and what is befitting. But it's a matter of money. That's why he is settling for what is less than befitting. You will think that he has no common sense. He has no taste. It's a matter of cash. When a man has no money, he has no respect from his wife. Very few women. And that respect has a limit. Somebody rightly said that you can feed a woman for seven years, 50 years, but if she feeds you for five months, the whole world will hear. If you don't have money as a man, your children will not respect you. They will drift towards their mother. If you don't have money as a man, the tendency for your daughter to have teenage pregnancy is high because she will want to leave that congested apartment to go and stay with a boy where she can watch television and eat a good food, eat good meals. If you don't have money as a man growing up, you are most likely to settle for any woman you see that is immediately available because you don't have choice and you don't have alternative and you are not attractive. If you don't have money as a man, you do not choose your diet at home. It is whatever is prepared for you that you eat. This morning, I finished recording. I went to check what was on the dining table. I didn't like it. I went to the eatery near me. I bought moi moi. It's moi moi with some rice and sauce and drank a glass of wine. And that's a, uh, drank a glass of wine, received visitors, and I came back to start recording. I can choose my meals. I can choose what I want to eat. If you don't have money as a man, your temper is unnecessarily high. You get angry over little, little things. You feel that your wife is insulting you. If you have money as a man and people respect you outside, if your wife does not respect you inside, you see her as being foolish and you ignore her. But if you don't have money as a man, they don't respect you outside. They don't respect you inside. You start introducing yourself to your wife. Don't you know I'm your husband? Don't you know I'm your husband? If you want to prove to your wife that you are the husband, buy her a car. And I, no matter how spiritual they are, no matter how spiritual they are, they like money, women. When I give my wife money, the way she greets me is different. If you don't have money as a man, a woman will deny you right to Jerusalem. Anyhow, it's only when she feels like that the gates are open. You must enter her gates with something in your hands. And then there will be thanksgiving in her heart. If you don't have money, your children are most likely, your sons are most likely not going to marry into the class that they want to marry into, into the types of women that they want to marry into, unless you give them the potential to build themselves, like as my father gave me potential to build myself. And now my children can marry into any class. If not, you will marry somebody that does not, you just marry what is available and your children might repeat the same process. If you don't have money as a man and you are the most senior in your family, the meeting can continue, the family meeting can continue without you. And all your suggestions are just ideas because they are not backed by money. 
if your last born, the last born in your family has the money, he dictates the pace of the meeting. Even you, you will say yes, sir. If you don't have money as a man in a church, all your suggestions in the church committee are not taken seriously. The pastor will say, I know, I know, you are called, that's okay. Um, elder, please talk. The elder that has the financial backing, like the good Samaritan, is the person they listen to. If you don't have money as a man in a church, your sins are dealt with very harshly. You commit adultery, they will suspend you, expel you, treat you very harshly. But if a rich man commits adultery, <laughs> if a rich man commits adultery, <laughs> they will use scriptures to explain it. <laughs> they will say that even David committed adultery, <laughs> that God did not kill him. <laughs> If you don't have money as a man in old age, you will suffer. You will suffer. So start to plan your life. If you don't have money as a man, when you go for old boys association meeting, old students association meeting, you'll be very quiet. You will be the one introducing yourself to people. You don't have money as a man. Your community uses you to do many hour works. They send you a message. That's why you must send me a message on plus two three four seven zero five two one three six seven six three to register for the online seminar coming up on the first of May by 7 p.m. on the reality of aging. I'm making more money as I get older, getting more respect on the bed here, and I put two bottles of wine there, and I put 10,000 Naira brand new notes that my wife likes. Somebody give them to me, I'm leaving them here, and I'm going to the farm. She will see them, she will be very happy with me. She will say, now nah, wow for you. Who know like better thing? Who know like better thing? <laughs> ah, Dr. Foki. Dr. Foki, you go keep us in. Dr. Foki, <laughs> register for that seminar by sending a message to me on plus 234 I will send you the flyer, you will register, then I will add you to my WhatsApp mentorship group. If you are not ready to register for the seminar, I won't add you. Now me get the seminar, now me get the group. Now you sabi. If you have money, if you have money, when you advise your wife, you advise your children, you advise people around you, and they refuse to take, you can tell them, now you sabi. God bless you. I'm going to the farm to peel cassava.